that's a, just a philosophy. It's, a, it's just a teaching, you know, that... Um, let's go to St. John, let me show you, in the text. St. John chapter, I want to say 14, it might be 16. St. John chapter 14, Jesus is talking here um, about the Holy Ghost. And in St. John chapter number 14, verse number 26, it says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send, how? In my, in my name. name. What does it say? He shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Let's go to the 15th chapter now. Okay. Um, just talking about the Holy Ghost again. Chapter 15, verse 26. But when the Comforter, verse 26, but when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. Do you see that? All right. Um, let's go to the 16th chapter now, verse number 13. And what it says is, how be it when who? The Spirit. No, when no, he, no. He, thank you. How be it when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. He shall not glorify, he shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you. Do you see that? And, and you continue to read it. In the context now, that's where, whether you are, whatever denomination you profess to be, we take that and we ascribe now personage to the spirit. Okay. Does it have a gender? Is it male? We reflect it. Is it a male spirit or is it a female spirit? Well, the text say he, but does the spirits have gender? So if they don't have gender, how come you give it a person? How can you sit here today and say it doesn't have gender, but yet you ascribe personage to it? And that's what we do. So the Holy Ghost, because it's written and the text give it a male vernacular, it's the same thing when you read in the text about wisdom. All right? And it talks about wisdom in the vernacular of she. Yeah, exactly. Praise God. Does, the, does the spirit have a gender? No, she doesn't because in the same context when they say wisdom in the she vernacular, it's really referring to Christ. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So in understanding, you can't give personage to spiritual things. All right? And that's where we mess up when we try to make spiritual things carnal, natural. The only thing that we must understand is the only spirit that became carnal was Jehovah. God was manifest in the flesh. Does that make sense? That's what we have to be able to understand and grasp, wrap our mind around, okay? Because is there a difference in the Holy Ghost and the Spirit of the Father? Okay? My Bible tells me that Jesus Christ is the only begotten of the Father. But then in Luke it says that Mary was overshadowed by the Holy Ghost and that holy thing shall, that she will conceive shall be called the Son of the Highest. So was it two different spirits? Oh, Same spirit. Just it's one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, one Father. Okay. Now there's many spirits. A whole bunch of spirits. Boy, it's a whole bunch of them. Okay? But it's only one Holy Spirit. 